Coming from the field of biodiversity education, I work with many students and other young scientists who want to know what impact organizations like Future Earth and Diversitas have on global environmental change. So as some background, can you tell me about the uniqueness of Future Earth and how it differs from other organizations like Diversitas? I think that from programs like Diversitas, we've learned and Diversitas has shown that by using sustainability challenges, societal problems, policy needs to direct our science results in a very different set of more relevant findings and knowledge useful to those problems at hand. Not only are the findings and knowledge different, but the process of research actually changes quite a lot, as do the products growing into a much wider set beyond peer-reviewed publications to policy briefs or products and like data, tools and approaches for use in practice. But perhaps most importantly, the community engaged changes quite a lot and diversifies to include scientists, stakeholders and other sectors of society. And I think that Diversitas' work together with the Convention on Biological Diversity is a really great example of that co-design, of the design of policy targets for nation states, their implementation as well as the monitoring of historic and prediction of future trends. So it's really that principle of co-design, I think, that is a central and unique foundation of Future Earth. The ambition really to involve society in the co-creation and co-development of the kind of knowledge needed to address the sustainability challenges and to also work together with society to co-develop the kinds of products we're actually going to need to address those challenges. And I think perhaps most excitingly for many young researchers out there is the real need to learn how to do this kind of co-creation and co-design work while mobilizing capacities around the world to participate in the ambitions of Future Earth to move towards global sustainability. Future Earth aims for real world change. What positive impacts can be achieved through the work of Future Earth and how can scientists, particularly young scientists, get more involved? You know, for me, biodiversity and ecosystem science are really a central component of the Future Earth Work Programme, not only in addressing some of the shorter term ambitions around things like food security, water security and energy security, and really managing the trade-offs around those, but also thinking through some of the longer term sustainability challenges we face around things like adaptive capacity and resilience to future change and turbulence as well as really understanding the evolutionary potential that's locked up in our genetic library of life that biodiversity scientists can contribute to future Earth. I also think that the lens through which we see the world as a complex interactive system is a lens we really want to bring to the forefront of future Earth, this ability to understand that the world is a complex interacting set of systems is really going to be essential, I think, in solving some of the sustainability challenges out there. And on a last note, can you give us any extra tips or advice for young scientists who want to be more involved? Well, I would say keep an eye on the Future Earth website and various social media that are really being um, at the forefront of the Future Earth development. They'll let you know what events are happening in your neck of the wood, what networks you can engage with, and how you can be part of actually shaping the direction of Future Earth. Great, thank you so much.